I want us to f win this competition. And Nathan Cross has got a big man in the boxing. 18 is Misha picks it up. Ball comes in. Oh, he's free. He's free as a bird. Goes back to Hayson. Puts it in a great area. He's someone to attack it, mate. Waldridge is there. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back. We've got a game under the lights on Monday night. It's cup action. It's quarterfinal action, the Velocity Cup, which is the, the league cup for all the Ishmian leagues. We're in the Ishmian Prem. You've got the Ishmian South Central, the Ishmian South and Ishmael North, I believe, the other three divisions. So it's a, it's a cup we can advance in. It's the quarterfinal. We're playing Bad Shot Lee. It's a team from Surrey. This is a game that's been rearranged not once, but twice. It was supposed to be at their ground, but due to weather and the pitch not being up to it, it got called off twice. And as a result, once the game's been called off twice, the away team get a chance to reverse it. That's what we've done. We've brought it back here on the 4G. It definitely happens tonight. And hopefully we can secure a semi-final spot because this season is not over. We've got a chance of silverware for the men and for the women, and we're hoping to get our hands on some before this season ends. But before this game starts, let's take a trip down memory lane with our friends from Canna, who are a great partner of the club, obviously helping the women's team specifically this year. But they also give us a chance to look back and see how far we've grown. This time last year, not that long ago, but we're going to cast your minds back to our biggest ever win in non-league. Let's go back to Tilbury. To Toby, a 1-2, Oli oh. Miles knocks it back again, now full to Pedro Cavani! Oh and God. there we go! Okay, it's a team. Good ball oh in, and oh gosh. wow! He'll fancy Alfie Whitaker, Whitaker. beats him. Jermaine arrives with a season oh kick, oh my goodness my me! God. You can get a nice little in-swinger here. In-swinger, lovely oh, clip, right into a dangerous area. Over it's everybody, it. and it's oh, in! He's it's in! Who lays it to Toby, can we get a first time shot? We can, it's a good strike, deflected, bounces around. And it stands there, would you believe it? It's the debut on Nathan Smith. And there goes the final whistle. What a game that was. Nathan Smith debut, by the way. Two goals off the bench. And what a season Nathan is having. So big thanks to Canna. It's great to see those moments in time. Just take a step back and look at how far we have come and how much we have grown. And thank you to Canna for all their support. Right, shall we take a look at the team that Devs is sending out? It's an all-change team, by the way. Only five people that started 48 hours ago in that great game against Billericke are starting tonight. Let's take a look at it. In goal is Josh Strizovic. In defence, we have Matty Waldridge returning to his more familiar right-back spot. Nathan Smith at left-back. Harry Hayson keeps his place, but he's joined by Greg Halford in centre-back as Tom Anderson is rested. In midfield, it's all changed as well with Sam Cornish, Camilo Estrepo and Misha Jamaili in the middle. Out wide, we have our usual wingers of Sakasan and Pedro Carvalho, but Alex Teniola returns to the side up front. Meaning on the bench, we have Thomas Anderson, Max Cornhill, Toby Aroma Laren returns, William Dupre and Luke May Parrot. No PK, he was unavailable tonight. And let's see how the boys can do. Up the tags. Right, okay. To your side, freshened up. Largely because of the, the output from Saturday. And we need, need to freshen it up a little bit. I've seen these plays, but when I saw him play, he was on an absolute pudding of a pitch. So it was in, in horrible conditions. So it was difficult to get a real sense. But even within that, they do look like they want to pass the ball, particularly in the midfield area. So our energy, you know, three in there, Sam, Camillo, Meech, our energy in there is really, really important. I just want us to take everything from Saturday into tonight and play with, with confidence and energy and, and belief, but we must outwork them first. But it's a fantastic opportunity for us to get into a semi-final and after the disappointment of the last one we played in, I want us to win this competition. Yeah, Joe? No. Let's go, come on. And Bad Shot Lee are gonna get us underway in this quarter-final Velocity Cup. One of only two chances, hashtag, have left of silverware on the men's team at least. Let's hope tonight we can get closer to lifting a trophy and get a semi-final spot. Not the biggest of lads in there, are they, in those attacking positions? Just in general, I don't think they're no. that big a side, even the centre-backs. Oh, it's good feet in the middle. Part, it's actually Camillo getting a taste of his own medicine there. Yeah, he is actually, yeah. Fancies it. Joshua Kia for bad shot, hits it. Good hands from Striz. Hey, Halford not happy. He's telling uh, the players to get in position. Yeah, I think it's Greg and Pedro having a bit of a Barney there, but frustration will come from not having the ball. But we do have it here yeah. as Camillo comes forward, sprays it out to Nathan. That's what you want to see in, in the middle of the park is Camillo getting the ball, a chance to run at people. It's Sack looking for Nathan on the overlap here. Can Nathan cross? He's got a big man in the box in 80. It's Misha picks it up. Oh. The man is just made of goals. Cut him open and you'll just find a ball in the back of a net. Yeah, standard Misha things. 
and he runs over to the camera to celebrate. That'll be a picture for the full-time graphic, I'm sure. But Misha Jamali just doing what Misha Jamali does, picking up the ball in the middle of the box and smashing it into the back of the net. An emphatic finish. Uh, it wasn't the best move, I thought. There was a, a couple of passes that didn't quite meet the, meet the man. But in the end, the cross flicked on, I think, by AT. And then Misha controlling that and just finishing brilliantly. Lovely stuff. And not the best start, but we are in front, Spen. It makes him the outright top goal scorer this season now on 12 goals for the season. Put that in perspective, two years ago in the Ishmael North, our top goal scorer was Luke Hurst, joint with Sam Bantic on 10 goals. Now, both of them came in mid-season, yeah, true, yeah, but sure. Misha's actually played a lot less minutes than other people. Nice, nice, well done. Hasten to Smith. Yeah, next year that'll be in the same league and that'll be a good little rivalry, find him a bad shot. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Come on, Misha, can you turn him? He's... He seems to be occupying quite a few final defenders there. And then Pedro's come across, got the ball on his left foot. Can hit them, does hit it. Good stop. Forces a save and that'll be a corner. That's the quarter final, Mike. I think we've got a buy in the first round of it. Um, and it's like an Essex Cup. And it, the, the actual trophy is a, is a massive boat. When I say massive, I mean huge. It's probably the ni arguably the nicest trophy we're competing for this season. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, where, the very, championship, very it's where the championship comes from. Yeah. Actual ships. Ball comes in. Oh, he's free. He's free as a bird. That is criminal defending from the tags, I have to say. He, I mean, he's done well with the header, Eddie, but it was a free hit. Yeah, it is, it is a lovely, lovely header, but it's a pretty simple one when you're that close to the goal with no one marking you. Um, I think there'll be an inquest there at the back. Striz will be fuming, I'm sure, with, with the defenders there. Letting a player be unmarked that close to the goal. It's, it is, as, as you mentioned, pretty criminal, that spin. Uh, and our... Um, Laxadaisical, I think, start has uh, seen us now back level. That's a free head. That's rubbish. Pedro. Halford. Good composure to find Camillo. Over to Sack. He's got Nathan running past him. Still going in the box here. Sackerson! Oh! oh! Just needed the finish spend, didn't it? Delightful wing play from Sackerson. So direct, Jinky Majinky, as mentioned, is still in the building despite PK's absence. And the shot just passed the post. Obviously, we have, we have got yeah, six lads who didn't start on Saturday, all fighting for a starting position in the next league game. And they need to do a bit more for me. Not, yeah. just, not just them, the ones that started on Saturday as well. You know, yeah. I'd like to be a bit more from Sack. We're even the ones that have started. Here's Pedro to Nathan. Another ball in from him, looking for AT, heads it! I mean, that is exactly what you want, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got, you got the power behind it, just didn't get it in the corner, and it's catching practice again for the goalkeeper. Yeah, they are playing a high line, yeah. I mean, we're kind of letting them at the moment because we're not really pressing it in possession. We get the ball, we're trying to play quite quickly as well. Quite direct, as you'll see here. Teniola could get on that, take it past the keeper. Oh, he's done well, but it's going to fall for Misha, is it? Oh, he's played it straight into the keeper again. Just open the gate and, and let you in. Yeah, you've got to work harder for it than that. You've got to be more precise. Cissé is one of the better players, I think, the number 10 Cissé. Yeah, I've seen. He's, he, he likes to, to get that Camillo footwork out, doesn't he, a little bit. Chance for him to whip one in here. Let's put a little bit on that. Oh, wow, that's almost another free header at the back post. Why are we not marking our men tonight? Good well, from AT. That's going to fall for Pedro. This is where we need to get on the ball and just keep it for a few seconds. But Pedro's got other ideas. He wants to run straight. Towards the goal. Look He's at that off. pass. Saka San is on. onside. Mish is in the box. Can Saka get it across for Mish? Oh! oh! You think when you see Mish free at the back post, you just expect it to go in. Yeah, almost perfect play from the tags there. I really thought Saka might have been offside, but the official's flag stayed down. And the pick out, I thought he was going to shoot. The pick out was almost perfect. Mish unmarked at the back post, but just evaded him by the smallest of margins. Hashtag still level here with bad shot. It's like Misha's gone past it, doesn't it? Misha's a yard shorter, he's probably got an easy header. Not quite going to get to the seconds one, but Camillo will pick that one up and find Sakasan with room to turn here, Spent. This is where he needs to show everyone and remind everyone what he can do. That's got to be a foul. Could we see the first card of the night? He might, we might do, we might do. It's going to be at least a chat. Will that chat come with some cheddar? Doesn't look like he is. Oh, Sakistan hit a good ball in there. Cleared. Waldridge is there. Can hit them. That. Let's just pretend that wasn't a shot. Great Go pass. On, Greg. Head that. Oh, still, still there. Going. That's a corner. 
Yeah, it will be a corner ball. What? What? How is that a goal kick? How is that a goal kick? Are you mad? Ref! Ref, are you joking? Oh, my Ref, word. Ref! Everyone can see that's a corner. Even the lino has put his flag Ref. down pretty soon. That is an awful decision. Oh, opted to take the touch rather than let it go there back. Go. Camillo's this in it. here. This is what he does. He finds Pedro on the left. It's Pedro and Sack on the same wing at the same time. Mish, I thought we might hit one there. He's going to hit one eventually. I back him to hit one from all angles, to be honest. Yeah, he's got some striking ability. Restrepo. Oh, Silky. Waldridge. Whips it in! Oh, my God. How does he find himself in scoring position so much? It's almost Lampard-esque the way he drifts into the, the That's box. That's a good comparison. It is. He just honestly, like, and I'm not saying that lightly as a Chelsea fan, he finds himself with acres in the box sometimes, Misha. It's so impressive. Such a skill to have. And it is why he's our top scorer. There is the half-time whistle. One all at the break. I think Badshot Lee fans will be happier than Hashtag fans so far. We haven't used our level advantage to our advantage and uh, we've got a bit of work to do in the second half everything that we said before we went out you've just tossed it in we said we needed to play of urgency we had no urgency we need to be bright we've not been bright we need to be good we've missed 10 yard passes all over the pitch and to top it off they have two headers in our six yard box because we thought we'd just turn up and beat them all the things that make us a good team we've not done very 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 difficult to argue with him can't pick and choose your game you've got to be consistent because the game will find you out you might get away with it tonight but saturday it will come and slap us around the face the good news is we're coming here and we're level and we can only honestly we can only get better you should never let your mates that never let yourself and within that you start letting you're letting the club down you're letting people people pay and come and watch people singing and dancing for you on Saturday. I love you. And I don't care if it's 30,000 people or 30 people. In fact, those 30 people are even more important. And we're not doing them any, we're, not, we're doing them a disservice. Go and play with some heart and energy and the quality will come. I have got a, not got a problem with people making mistakes. Trust me, I've got, not got a problem with people making mistakes. But people are making mistakes, making bad choices. Because we keep being told and we keep making doing it. And I know, I know what you're capable of. And we are underway. Sam Cornish plays it back to Greg Halford and it's lumped towards AT. Great touch from Sammy Cornish. Weaving through players, keeps hold of the ball. Nathan involved in the goal. Goes back to Hasem, puts it in a great area. Needs someone to attack it, mate. Waldridge is there. Oh, the keeper saves it. Harry Hasem, the quality of the pass into the box there was absolutely sublime. On a sixpence from Harry Hasem, just no one able to convert. That was a ball that had no right to be played by centre back. Absolutely quarterback like. Unfortunately, keeper was equal to Matty Waldridge's shot, and we go again. Cross it or maybe just keep it simple here. Waldridge gets it off him. Pedro can cross now. Stands it up. Looking for Misha again. Is that is that at the post or hit the back? I think that's just gone behind, is it? Has he hit just the wide. post? I think might have just hit the post there on its way through. But that's delightful move. Really incisive pass there to find, who was it, Pedro that whipped that ball in? Yeah, it was a great fourth, run again. Fourth chance of the game for Misha Jamali there. He's got one goal, but definitely could have had more than that tonight. Meanwhile, Badshot come forward. Yep. Number 11 here on the ball, Degani. A bit wider than we saw him in the first half. That's a nice little flick into the middle. for Bad shot. And the, the shot does come, but it's off target. He wants the ball here. He wants to run at them. Clipped it towards Mish. Headed away. Only as far as Camillo. Takes it down. Can he shoot from here? He thought about it. He definitely thought about it. He's still got it. There's a lot of bodies there, Camillo. There's a shot, though. Who's following it in? No one's following it, Spen. No one. Everyone just bystanders watching it. He did really well to get the shot off, but it's a good save. You'd expect someone to be there, though. Matty Aldridge throws it very direct towards AT. Can you pin your man and lay it off? Tamisha Jamali plays it to sack in the box. Gets a shot off into a body. Another shot off. Spilled. AT. Can't get it on target. Yeah, that one's frustrating. Sack just trying to shift it and create that half yard. He didn't get it on the first attempt, but the ball came back to him. And he gets the shot off. Saved, parried by the goalkeeper. And this time, there is someone ready to pounce. But AT just can't quite get his foot around it and poke it back towards the goal. 
Another chance goes begging and really wonder if the pressure is beginning to tell on this bad shot defence. Can we get a winner? I think we're going to score here. I think Greg Halford is going to score. Misha Jamali puts it in. There it is. I know football. Almost. I was so close to being oh my word. ridiculously right. That there. was <laughs> creepily on the money. I could see in the body language. I could see I, I, he was going to be do something there. Oh my, Spen, that was almost <sighs> weird. That was phenomenal. That was mental. Almost. Nathan Smith to Hasem towards AT. Flicks it into Mish. Onside. Jamali. You've got Pedro to your left. Well Finds helped. him. Pedro back on the left. Oh, yeah! that could be our first card of the game. It is going to be it our first card. Nick Medcraft has been crafty there. I tell you what, if I'm a bad shot fan, I am quite happy with that yellow. Do a little curler. There's the ball. It's not bad. Oh, Greg was there. Oh. So was Matt Waldridge. But it's gone nowhere near the goal Almost again. out for a throw in in the end spent. But again, another ball into the box. And there's been a couple that have sort of bounced or, or ended up in that sort of area. And Matty's been on one already this half. And almost there, finding the breakthrough. But in the end, the effort, well off target. But again, more signs, more positive signs that we are beginning to turn the screw. As I think we're going to make another change over that side, that far side. Toby, looking for AT. Oh, he's done well there, but the shot wasn't I think it's going to stay best. in, though. Go on, Pedro. Stayed on. Just use it. Just move it. Just move it, Pedders. Nathan's available. Oh, he's done him. He's done him. Brilliant from Carvalho. Still Pedro. Oh, it's, it's really good defending, yeah, I think. To good be defending. I think Pedro's, Pedro's done everything right up until that final touch. I think he just has to either release it or, or go the other way, one or the other. I think he just made the wrong option there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Chance for the strikers. We've already got one tonight. Plays it into the box. Oh, it's a good fake shot. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That was close. Yeah. And that's how they could hurt us, Eddie. Yeah. That, that's, again, it's a bit of a let off. It's a really, really nice turn inside from the uh, the forward there. On that occasion, though, not hitting the target. And you have to say, he has to hit the target with that amount of space in the box. Back to Nathan. Oh, crikey, you know. Not giving Hayson many options there, really. Go on, Toad. Make it work. It's coming out of snow on. Oh, he took it in the face for his, for his team there. Nathan can cross from here. Ball good. Oh, Mish directs it goalwards. And it's, I think it's a corner a anyway. I think it was a corner anyway, but that's a great save, Spent. He has cleared the crossbar with that dive there, the keeper. Lovely play. Toby, hats off there as well with the set. I'm not sure the keeper the cross. touched it, actually. I don't, I, I, there was definitely a header. I think, hit the bar. I think Mish flicked it on. It definitely took a touch on its way through. But we have a corner. Let's see what we can do I'm here, Spen. I'm not sure if the keeper touched that or hit the bar, but it's so close again. It might be our second woodwork hit this half. Pedro's corner is very deep. But Mish is there, puts it back in. William Dupree, Luke was on the end of it as well. Someone's got to get near him, boys. He's completely isolated. Done well to find Luke. Oh, Luke's done well with it as well. Going to get another corner, maybe. Pedro. Wow. Pedro shoots. Toby on the edge. Gets a shot off into bodies. And they clear their line. Oh. We've got one and a half minutes left before penalties, guys. Last oh, my way. Oh, my God. Months, oh. Remember. oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's fallen to us. Make it work. Make it work. Mish hits it. Oh, he's got it all wrong, Spen. He's got it all wrong. Oh, no, Mish. Ball, 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 ball. Come on, we've got one minute, lads. Just to, I was going to say nick it, but it wouldn't be theft. It would be us claiming what's rightfully ours. Get on that, Mish. Toby. Get past your man. Ooh, oh, is that a foul? Is it brought down? And is it is it one on one at that point? I think no, he probably had some cover. Yeah, I, I don't think Toby's getting there either with the ball if it goes on. So I Do think we shoot yellow. From this? Do we shoot from here? No, no he, he didn't get booked first after did he, the, the the three. I don't think so. I think I was calling for him to be early on. I think Greg is thinking about hitting this. No, it's, it's not him that's got the book in. It's no one on so. the pitch has scored a free kick for hashtag. Has Greg sent Mish over there? I wonder. He's gone very interesting. Look, he's going to go there. See, he's Greg sent him there. I don't know about this because now he's got a touch on his left foot. But let's hope the ball is good. There it is. Greg, he's in there. Go no on. way. Still Luke, there. Is it across? Back in. Waldridge. Greg on the turn. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's hooked away, oh, and that is that. He's gone penalties. I've seen the box for Max as well. He's just put it in. Max oh, has put it in. And Real the Madrid. Up. It's Real Madrid 2.0. At least let the play finish there, ref. No, I think we've only got ourselves to blame there, Spen. It almost worked, though, the idea. Almost, yeah, almost. But we head to pens. Crikey. The question is, Eddie, we haven't talked about this. What's Struz like at saving pens? 
How many has he, has he faced any for us? I think he faced one against Bogner and yeah. was sent the wrong way. Okay. Um, I, I think, I'm, if I remember correctly, he's got a fairly decent penalty record. Um, I think he fancies, certainly fancies himself well, as, a a, as a penalty a saver. A hero, so. isn't it? It's a chance to be a bit of a hero he tonight. Always the frame. Is. He fills the frame, I'll say that. This humble Hamblin here. Let's go, Strizzo. Big save. Josh Strizovic. Let's go. Oh, what a save! Oh, oh, oh. Josh Strizovic take a bow, son. What a start, Ben. Wrists made of aluminium. What a man. That's a strong arm if I've ever seen one. That, that's not a bad pen, but it's a phenomenal save because he'd gone past it as well with an outstretched left hand. Strizovic take a bow and credit to the fans behind the goal as well. Plenty of noise made there. And as we thought, Greg is up first. Get us in the lead, Greggy. Never missed a penalty in his career. Is it still the case? Yep. Of course it is! Yep. Never doubted him for a second, Spenny, did we? You can set Never your watch him. by him. He's a man of many talents. Okay. It's a fairly long run up from Joshua Key. He's going to hit it hard. Okay, he sold me a dummy. He, he's done it, Greg. Misha Jamali. It's a very narrow run up. He's going to reposition himself now. Lovely. Oh. Superb. Cool, calm, composed, collected. All of the C's, Ben. Lovely finish. Lovely finish. It's another long run up. Is he going to do another fake? Oh, look at this. Okay. Come on, Striz. Saved. Wide. Oh, he's missed. Wide. Oh, that could be massive. Wide. That could be it. Huge. Will to pray. I do pray you do score this. William. Ah, oh. it's a good save. Wasn't a big run up from Will there, which does concern me. And uh, it's not worked out from there, but fair play to him for putting himself forward to take one. The striker. Oh, oh Strees was close, so close to it. He was close to it. So close. So if you score this, they have to score. Yeah. Let's score it then. Simple. Simple as that. Get Put the it in arrows there, out for the lads. Come on. The archer. Toby. Aroma Laren. Back from Love Island duty. With goals. Oh. Oh my word, composure personified, Tobes. Is that a little, little Penenka? That was cheeky. I don't know if it classed as Penenka or not, but he not certainly quite. sold the keeper. Well on, Tobes. Now they have to score, or they're going back to bad shot with an L for Lee. We're not going to need the fifth penalty taker, Eddie. I, I fancy that shout. To We're not going to need it, because Striz is saving this. That's oh, a good pen. Good pen. He went a million miles off, though, Strizz. Luke May Parrot, over to you to secure a semi-final in your first season for the Tags. The cage door has been opened. The Parrot has been allowed to spread his wings and fly. You know what to do, Luke. That's oh. it! <laughs> <laughs> squawk! Come on! Squawk! Squawk! We're in a semi-final. And it was squeaky bum time, but it was squawky goal time as well. Yeah, love that, Spent. We have progressed and... As mentioned, I've not got a great record at the club <laughs> since I've been here on pens. But tonight, come in the clutch. Come Lovely on. win on pens. Some very, very, very impressive penalties in there. And that's safe from Striz as well. Very impressive. Lovely stuff. Great result for the Tags. Through to semi-final. Our live members who watch the game live. And you can do the same thing if you become members on our YouTube channel by clicking the join button. They voted for tonight's UFL player of the match. And they chose Josh Strizovic as the recipient. He did save the penalty that ultimately got us through to the semi-final. So well done to you, Josh. What a save it was. So we'll see you in the semi-final. We play Haringey Borough in the next round. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and head over to the Extra channel for post-match reaction. Until next time, up the tag.